G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to New G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. I'm just wearing down. The beauty too, I guess, because they're generally lake trout, they're not going to be as strong as like a river fish. So uh, even the bigger ones, I mean, the pep's not going to fight as hard as what uh, some of your really fit, strong, thoroughbred river fish are going to be like. Get his head out. Always say head first. And he's got him in there. That's good. It's a reasonable fish. Pulls out the same, probably four, four and a quarter pound. And the McLean's lie detector. And the same again, just on four pound, even out of the water with no rocks in it. So, uh, oh, a good result. You know, and you think, you know, a lot of people will go over to New Zealand and uh, on the Tongariro and do a lot of the fishing there, which is great. But we've still got a lot of it here available in Australia as well. So, uh, probably uh, interesting. Well, Tongariro, you can literally fish all year round, different uh, licenses and things like that. Potentially, that's what we need to look at here, where we can really keep um, the fishing opportunities open, perhaps for catch and release or something, uh, because it provides a lot of enjoyment and invests a lot of money in the local uh, area as well. So that's something that you know, the fisheries they consider as well. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a lovely little catch and release tool, which gets that hook out, looks after the flies and looks after the fish. Just stunning colours, stunning colours. I'm going to look at those with the reds, and browns and ochres. They're just such an Australian looking colourful fish. That's not from Australia. <laughs> but they're uh, beautiful, huge big tails, just plenty of power and just great solid fish. You know, four pounders, let him go I guess. But they're uh, just something that's just great fun to catch. Uh, and release and I think there's something in that you know to put it back in you don't have to kill everything you catch I mean they're great fish and you're allowed to kill one fish over 50 centimeters up here on the you can be at this time of year but we'll put them all back you know so uh, yeah we want them to, to get up and do what they they want to do and yeah we'll put them back and let them do that it's fly fishing you just got to get into it There we go. And nice. We'll get like a nice little um, depression in the water there, which is going to hold like a few fish. So sometimes once you can find that depression, uh, even if there might be a, a group of fish that move up through there, they might move on. And if you've caught a couple, then there'll be another lot that'll see that depression and, and have a rest there as well. So once you've caught a couple of fish in this style, you can still just keep persisting because there will be more that come through. Never gets boring. Never gets boring. Such a wonderful fish like this. It does get cold at times. But you get some right gear on. Like I wear a lot of the icebreaker stuff, which is a lot of the thermals, because when it does get really cold, you just want something that's just gonna maintain your warmth. And the icebreaker thermals are just amazing, and I wear a couple of layers on that. And a, and a raincoat as well, like the, the stalker wading jacket. That just cuts a lot of that fish, as well as still being breathable. These are much smaller fishes. Here we go, we're talking about only a couple of pounds, maybe three pounds. We get a bit blase at times once you've caught a couple. Get him much quicker. And that's uh, our first female fish that we've caught up here. And uh, she'll be I don't know, three pound or so. Um, two and a half, so not even three pound. But uh, there has been a real dominance of, of the males that we've been catching on this system. And that just could be that they, they were lined up at the, uh, 
the mouth and waited for this last rainfall and, and have come up uh, and they'll mix in with a couple of the females as they, as they go along. Just get her out and just, and it's hard to see the difference from way over there, but essentially you'll notice it in, uh, in the mouth. They have a much smaller mouth, not elongated. You know, I tend to, to be fighting and stuff like that, so uh, they don't need to do that. Some of beautiful fish just the same. That dark colour again, just from feeding in that, um, the, the, the lake perhaps lower down, you know, in the system and they have that darker coloration. And off she goes as well, so uh, yeah. You can be in rivers fishing pretty well at the minute. A little bit cold, but on the right gear we'll get through it. But you don't get sick of catching fish. Put that big one, we need that big one. It'll come, could be one cast away. Could be a hundred casts, but that's why you go fly fishing, because you never know what's going to be on that next cast. And into this wind. And uh, what we've got to do is very important. I'll talk about arcs. We've just got to aim our downward cast lower to get it, try and get it under the wind because it is pretty difficult. And learning how to double haul is quite important in a situation like this as well. Can you get that line speed to get it up against the wind or just wait until it dies off a bit and then you can cast. The fish will grab this any minute. I'm almost certain. It'll stay positive when it's freezing cold, blowing a gale. Oh, in my job's not all beer and skittles. Sometimes I have to go fishing when it's raining. Downstream. As it gets a little windy, a little windy. Good thing is I don't have to cast into this wind while you're playing a fish. That's one bonus of it. Just work him up. You just gotta let him have line whenever he needs it. I'm not sure if you can hear it with this wind, but I can guarantee it's blowing. But uh, if he's going to lunge, just let him slip line through your fingers or you, you wind all this up as, as you're going along and it makes it much easier to play the fish. But uh, I don't think he's a massive one. We'll just work him up and we won't get in too much trouble there. 